Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. A couple of years ago, I made a video about replacing a power outlet or a cigarette lighter in an 03 Yukon XL that belonged to my wife. And I'll put a link to that video right up here. Anyway, in that video, we replaced the uh, cigarette lighter um, socket. And um, I got a lot of feedback on that video about taking, how do you take the old one out? So I went back and I looked at the video, and I never, the old one was out. And I don't remember taking it out. And I think what happened was the bezel that retains that cigarette lighter socket in the dash had broken. And it had come loose. And it didn't work and it came loose. So the thing just sort of fell out the front. And that's why I never videoed taking it out and the removal. So a lot of people want to know how you take it out to replace a bad socket. And um, I, I figured out a way to take it out pretty easily. It works for both the... Uh, the cigarette lighter socket, which is the left side, that has separate power, that is uh, ignition power only, and then the power outlet, which is for your 12 volt charging stuff, which is on the right side, and that one's wired to battery power, so that one always has power, but either way, and when you're replacing them, you can put two cigarette lighter sockets if you want, you can put two power outlets if you want to just get rid of the cigarette lighter uh, socket, it, that really doesn't matter. Um, taking them both out is the same way, and I'm going to move the camera, and I'm going to show you the easiest way that I found uh, to take it. There's probably other ways to take it out. Uh, this is the easiest way that I found them. So fortunately, we have a uh, second one of these very similar vehicles. This is a 2003 Suburban. Um, this is the one that I usually drive on a daily basis. All right, and so you got your power outlet on that side with the little door, if you still have the door connected and you have your um, cigarette lighter on this side. Um, we use both of them for the charging devices and such. Um, when you're replacing them, if you want to put a power outlet on this side because you don't use a cigarette lighter, you can get the power outlet bezel that has a little cap dickey on it. If you don't want the cap dickey, you can just cut it off on the bottom. It's just rubber into the plastic uh, retaining ring. Or you can order a retaining ring for a cigarette lighter which doesn't have the door on it like, like this. Um, Either way, there's a keyway in the hole right up on top, and you got to find that keyway. And the, the, the easiest thing to do is to pop this trim piece off. Now, for, for most people, uh, the, there'll be a little compartment in here. They won't have a DVD player, and they won't have a uh, uh, lights and siren set up in here. There'll be another little compartment there. So it's even easier to pop this off. For me to pop this off, um, there's a lot of stuff mounted in it, so it's a little bit of a burden. So i got to take this trim ring off the uh, DVD player and just a flat blade screwdriver just or a trim removal tool just get it on the side and you pop it on either side and there's retaining clips that hold it in place and you grab it on the bottom and it comes out um, and it's that simple so once you get it out okay um, you got this one here. So what you want to do is you can either disconnect the wires or not disconnect the wires on the back of the socket and you're going to turn it while you're pushing out on the top. So you want to like, you're pushing this way. So you're going to turn it and you'll see once the keyway lines up, the top, um, the top little, uh, little retainer will pop out through that keyway right there where I'm pointing with the screwdriver. Okay. Now, that, once that's out, you can continue to turn it, and you turn it 180 degrees, and the other keyway, which is exactly on the opposite side, will come through the hole. There's the hole there, okay? And that'll come through the hole, and you'll be able to get it out. I hope I got all that on camera. I got the camera on a tripod. All right, and then when you put it in, the same thing. All you got to do is you find that keyway up top, and the bottom one will just snap in and then give it a turn about 90 degrees so that the two retaining keyways are side to side so that you're not going through that opening there and it's back in place. To put the panel back in, okay, um, slide the top in first. All right, so you put the top in and slide it up a little bit and with the bottom with your thumbs, you just press and you'll, you'll hear it snap into place. Like I said, for me, I got a lot of, a lot of shit going on in there, so the, um, 
the wiring hooks it up. This actually snaps in a lot easier if you don't have all that crap on there. And then I have this retaining bezel that pops in and you're all done. All right, so that's it, nice and simple. Um, uh, just a little tinkering around and you should be able to figure out uh, if you couldn't see really well, I had it zoomed in and tried to do my best. But I'll link this video in the original video and I'll link the original video in this video so that if you need to change one of those sockets, um, you can change it by watching both videos, getting them out, getting them back in, and I'll put a full list in the description below of all the different parts. The two bezels, one for the cigarette lighter, one for the power outlet, and the two sockets, the power outlet socket and the cigarette lighter socket. It'll all be in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to Axel's Garage for all our latest shenanigans, and as always, thanks for watching.